It's fun to be a kid. I could stay here and stare at that view all day. Oh my gosh, this view behind us. Woohoo! We made it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> I'm making our trusty PB&Js for our exploration today. Every place we've been to in Ecuador had something that made it quirky or unique or strange or just a fun place to visit. So that's why we are starting this new series where we're going to travel around and check out Ecuador's most unusual. Today we're going to head down to San Lorenzo de Manabí, which is not the same as the San Lorenzo in Esmeraldas, that's way north of here. This one is only about 25 minutes south of Manta. We're not sure what we're going to find, but we've heard there's some unusual things to see. Hola Juan. Hola, good morning. How are you doing? Good, good how are you? Very good. that there's a couple families here in this village that does the prep work for the paja toquillas or the Panama hats and that's what you saw that was up hanging there drying and once they do the cooking and the drying then they sell them to the weavers. We're here in San Lorenzo and you know we love our beach town so we're excited to go check it out. Juan was telling us that this is the Tortuga capital. I don't know if that's right but it's a super popular spot for the tor Tortugas or the turtles to come and nest and he said they broke a record this year and they had over 300 nests on this beach so that's pretty cool. seen a Grim Reaper mural before. <laughs> That's pretty different. Well, it's right by the cemetery, so it makes sense. Yes. Actually, the murals are really pretty, and the cemetery is in beautiful condition. The only thing that separates us from death is time. Isn't that the truth, Ernest Hemingway? <laughs> <laughs> say I've always felt it was unusual to see dogs on rooftops and on balconies here in Ecuador. When we first got to Quito for our exploratory trip, they had dogs up on the rooftops all over the place. One of the things we find so unusual about Ecuador are the climates and we drove through a desert, which is where Monta is located, through a rainforest and then back into a desert again here in San Lorenzo. So just in the span of about a 10 minute drive, we had three different climates. Yeah, it's really interesting and I can't wait to go back and explore more of the Pacoche rainforest area. Yeah, we can go hiking in the Pacoche forest and there are howler monkeys there too. And tarantulas. Yeah, giant purple tarantulas. I 
like all the different murals and these have got a little cubism going on. How cool is that? A little Picasso. <laughs> Alone also has a permanent Christmas tree, and now there's one right here too. Something that's very unusual. This is a really cute little park. Our first impression of San Lorenzo is that it's really clean and super tranquilo. Yeah, it's so pretty here. I love it. It's a lot larger than I realized too. And right now I'm smelling flowers. Yes, there's a lot of uh, flower fragrances in the air and it's just a beautiful place to look at. Lots of flowers and murals and cool painted buildings. And, yeah, and then the mountains, Las yeah. Montañas. Yeah, right behind us. Once again, Ecuador does not disappoint. It is so beautiful here. And as usual, as per usual, the beach is completely different. <laughs> yeah, all the beaches in Ecuador that we've been to, they all look so different. This one's incredible too, because it has these other worldly rock formations down here on the north end. I was completely mesmerized by this part of the beach with the huge waves crashing against the rocks. It's so gorgeous. But you cannot swim in this area. You can kite surf and regular surf and swim down at the other end, but it is way too dangerous here, as the sign says. I also want to know, how did all those cacti get on the top of those rocks? Cacti or cactuses? Cacti. Cacti. Cacti, yes. <laughs> I could stay here and stare at that view all day, but as JP reminded me, it's time for us to head up the stairs, the El Faro Trail, and check out the lighthouse. Our driver Juan told us that there's 800 steps, so I guess we better get a move on JP. You gonna carry me? <laughs> we can take our time. <laughs> okay. And then we'll have our PB and J's at the top. Awesome. <laughs> new to our channel you may not know that I have a spinal cord injury and permanent nerve damage in my leg so I'm so thankful that I can walk and do stairs even if I do them half half speed how you doing JP this is a bit humbling <laughs> it's harder than I thought <laughs> Steep. I know we got it though see a rest area in our future. That was tough. Oh, there he is. <laughs> JP, you made it. Here, here's a bench for you. Here's a bench for you. Yeah, bench right now. <laughs> God, this is gorgeous up here. It is. Off in the distance, 
distance you can see Isla de la Plata. We did an excursion there a few months ago and we had a great time. We went to go check out the blue-footed boobies. If you missed that video, JP will put a link in the description below. I am loving this hike up to the lighthouse. It's really nice that they have this nice rest area because you get such a beautiful view of the town and the ocean. It's gorgeous here on Conventionals. I am loving this day. What's up, Amelia? You got a little cramp in the calf? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Clearly, I need to do our stairs. <laughs> this is like doing touring, JP, only without the elevation. So um, I'm a little embarrassed right now. <laughs> We're almost there, Amelia. Onward and upward. All right, JP. Got the home stretch. We can do it. We got this. I feel like I should be. Uh, playing the Rockies theme right, right now. You could do it. Almost. Almost. Woohoo. Oh my gosh, this view behind us. Woohoo. We made it. And it's totally worth it. <laughs> wow. I had to kneel down behind this wall to, to record the audio. It's just so windy. And I brought Minnie today, hoping I could get some aerial footage, but she's just too small to be in this much wind. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to get a bigger drone because it's windy in Ecuador, so I can't bring her out very often. JP, I think it's funny that you're hiding from the wind. <laughs> I'm hiding from the wind. And the stairs, Amelia says I have to come back and do the stairs all the time now. <laughs> yep, that's right. Legs of steel. All right, JP, it's time to head back down. I think Juan is waiting for us. And also, I'm getting hungry, so I think it's going to be PB&J time really quickly. Yay! <laughs> All right, Amelia, I think we've reached the end of the road. Our driver is waiting just down the hill for us. But I think we're gonna sit here and enjoy our sandwich. But first, Amelia, what do you think was San Lorenzo's most unusual? I think the most unusual thing about San Lorenzo was that amazing rock formation or rock formations with the cacti on top and then the giant waves crashing. I freaking loved it. Yeah, she was mesmerized by the <laughs> cactus on top. So it makes me think she wants to see hair on the top of my head because it looked like hair to me. Oh, <laughs> not that kind of hair. <laughs> I think for me, the most unusual thing was that Grim Reaper mural on the cemetery. I think that was kind of macabre. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty darn unusual. Well, I can't say I've ever seen anything like that before. And I liked the Ernest Hemingway quote too. Yep. Yeah, overall, we have thoroughly enjoyed our afternoon here in San Lorenzo. I highly recommend coming here to visit or to stay for a weekend. It's beautiful and muy tranquilo. Oh my gosh, yes. I have fallen in love with San Lorenzo. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up. Yep, and hit that subscribe button because we're going to be showing, showing more unusual things about Ecuador. We hope you have an unconventional day and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao. Amelia, I think we forgot the most unusual thing about San Lorenzo, and that's the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, JP. Oops. Let us know what you think is the most unusual in the comments below, please.